Hey, this is Slammer from GamingDrunk.com, bringing you a quick video on NHL 15. I just made one two days ago, I uploaded last night, telling you guys, calm down, there's no way they're going to take it out, uh, take out the ASHL. I probably should preface this with the point of this damn video. Um, now, the sources were crap and all that, but this is kind of scary, and um, unlike other people, what I'm going to do... Um, is first, I'm just going to show you the information. So that's it. No opinions, no... You make your own opinion. That's not, you know, I'll, I'll give mine afterwards, and you can leave before that. So just instead of fear-mongering and going crazy. So the first thing I'm going to show you right here, this is actually from Costco, and what this is is the... appears to be the official box art. For the Xbox 360. I mean, it just matches up with everything that we've seen so far. Um, and it just looks correct. Everything looks correct with the pre-order. Now, remember, this is the, the old gen. Um, so, yeah, just wanted to show you this so you can see where I'm going with it and the proof. And I'll continue from there. Now, unlike the previous sources, which is what I was complaining about in the previous video, um, they didn't have this information. They didn't have this box art that is looks very official to me. Uh, looks like it was given to Costco by EA Sports or out of uh, uh, f for displaying on their page for the pre-orders. Uh, but most don't have this. Actually, I don't think any other site at the time that I'm posting this is showing the actual back cover art, the the actual cover art on the back of the game. And as you can see in the Xbox 360 version, which I'm showing here, um, it shows online multiplayer 2 to 12. Uh, and it also, I, I probably should have taken a picture, but I'm going to leave the link. If you look in the top right, it says the complete NHL experience. Now, the other versions don't say that. Now, I'm, I'm just going to leave it there, but that's also something that's very interesting in that they're advertising on the old-gen version, old-gen, Xbox 360, PS3. Actually, I didn't see the PS3 one up there, but I thought I saw it earlier, so I'm not sure if they pulled it. That's kind of why I did this now, just in case suddenly it was like, Hey, guys, take that down, and they took it down. So I'm just going to leave this out here so that you can see it. So again, Xbox 360 looks the same. Online multiplayer 2 to 12, talking about your you know, complete experience, everything's the same. But now we're getting into the next gen. Um, both the Xbox One and the PS4, both on Costco, have information on it. And the, back's co the back cover art, or the back of the box, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is just... You know, showing where I am, my URL, where I'm at. Uh, everything's just there for you to view. Um, so I'm not making this stuff up. Like I said, I want you to look at the information. So again, uh, this is now the Xbox One, as you see by the cover art. Looks official, correct everything. It even has the correct, like, 26 years thing. Uh, or the medals. I can't I can't remember if it was. I'm not really looking at the screen um, too hard here. Because it's uh, in Sony Vegas, and it sucks right now. I don't know why it's on preview when there's no moving pictures, but who gives a shit? Uh, but again, you know, everything looks correct, it looks official, and it's not just, like, made-up crap. So if you look on the back cover art, um, and you have to go through and, and just click zoom, and that's what I did, uh, you're going to see this page, and you can see everything in there matches up with um, the actual Xbox 360. Um, and I'm just showing you this because, again, I'm showing that the icons there are showing the zoom. I'm not making this shit up. Uh, you probably already see the, the bad thing, but let me click on zoom so you can see it better. But I'm just showing the, the steps so no one can say, fake, if they take it down later. So here's the problem. <laughs> um, big difference, eh? Xbox One, 1-4, one 2-4 co-op. Xbox Live, 1-2. Not 12 not 1 to 12, it's not 2 to 12, whatever. This pretty much, I'm, I'll leave it till afterwards, but again, it's not showing 12 like it should. And a lot of people are probably, right now, if they haven't really been watching the forums, uh, might have pounded their head in their desk. Um, so I'm sorry about that and ahead of time. So again, this is the Xbox One's back cover art zoomed in to show the online Xbox Live shows only 1 to 2. So here's the PS4 page, and actually I accidentally switched over to the back cover art already, but it just, again, it cements, this actually maybe is better because, again, now you can actually see the back cover art on the page. Um, 
rather than just, you know, seeing the front cover art. But this is for the PS4 version. Again, I was looking at it earlier, but I can't seem to find the PlayStation 3 one on Costco. At least I thought I did. Maybe I'm just mad because uh, I saw the, the other ones and I just kind of, you know, started tweaking out. Uh, so, yeah, this is just showing that. And, uh, again, these links are going to be in the description. And since the other one, the, the page version, showed the um, back cover already, so I don't have to show the other one and go through and just waste more of your time. But again, this one's actually even weirder. Um, weirder? Yeah, that's a word. Okay. So, this is showing that network player is 2 to 2. So unlike Xbox One, it shows 1 to 2. This one's actually showing 2 to 2. So, again, that does not say 12. Which, again, leads to the conclusion that many have uh, feared that ESHL is not in the next version. And again, this looks official. Nothing on this looks like it's fake or it was just like something quickly generated by Costco itself to um, put up there. So, you know, just to, you know, for the pre-order. So it looks pretty official. It looks correct. Um, and again, it's it's kind of scary at this point. But uh, yeah, that's the end of this. The information. No opinions whatsoever, and if you don't want to listen to me rant, you can leave probably right now. I recommend it, actually. So with that, and that's why I put up this image of GamingDrunk.com, even though I haven't updated this site in a long time. I'm working on that, in case anybody really gives a shit, but I doubt you do. Um, so, here's the opinion. I just made a video two days ago, and I think I uploaded it last night sometime. It probably was done. Saying, don't worry about it. If it's not in it, I think it's going to be in it. If it's not in it, just don't buy the game. Simple as that. Um, but in the back of my head, while I'm making that video, I'm laughing. Because I'm like, there's no way to take that out. Even if there was problems, they get around it. Because they have to fix, you know, put that in there. It's one of the biggest modes in the game. And, you know, I, I kind of just like, eh, I'm fine. You know, who gives a shit? If it's not in it, I won't buy it. But then I started thinking about it. Right after I saw this information, this is pretty damning. Uh, again, I think the forums are just going ballistic. And uh, before, it was funny. The uh, mods were trying to, like, <laughs> kill threads. They were locking up threads. Um, uh, anything talking about this issue. But then with this new information, when it hit, boy, did it explode. <laughs> it, uh, threads were getting locked, but then people were just going screw you, I'm going to make a new one. They were blocking people. Um, that didn't work because they just used proxies and they blocked their, their IP. Um, and it was just a good showing by the community showing that this is unacceptable. We want to know right now. Don't beat around the bush. There's money. Our money's out there. Um, we want to take it away if you're not going to actually listen to us and you're taking this away from us. So I thought it was great and uh, it's a good sign that maybe, just maybe, and I hope that um, they will respond as quickly as possible saying, yeah, it's in there, but it's called something different. Or, yeah, there's something like it, but we're waiting till next week because it's a big, it's a big highlight change. Um, but I, it's weird for me to say it because, like, you know, I think FIFA called it something else like club mode or some weird other mode. But they, they advertised it because it was a huge selling point. This is just not a huge selling point. It's a tracker. <laughs> so why why is this happening? Um, so simple as this, I'm almost skewed now. Again, my opinion before was don't worry about it. If it's not it, don't buy it. But the problem is I'm a hockey guy. And because 2K is dead, because like in my last video I said, they killed 2K with their, improve, their, their adding of the ASHL OTP uh, aspect in the skill stick. They killed them. So now they have no competition, and that's what leads me to this shit. This is just, this is what you get. If EASHL is not in the game, this is what you get when competition is taken out of the actual argument. Um, this is what happens when um, really a development team just does not get things done. 
I know a lot of people might go and try and defend EA if it's not in it, saying, oh, what's well, the next gen, we didn't have enough time. You know, actually you had over a year because NHL 14, they didn't really add anything to it. Um, it was actually NHL 13 version 2.0. Maybe even HL twelve something, but again, it's it's the same engine was used since what oh eight oh nine almost, um, so they had plenty of time to work on this game. Uh, again, also because that's not a valid excuse. You don't nowhere else would you go. <laughs> you know, I like the, the, you know this phone is is great, but it it doesn't have a great speaker on the back, so. I'm going to buy anyways because the developers of the, the phone, the engineers, just didn't have enough time to get a good speaker on there and they just didn't have enough, you know, to put into it. That's just, that doesn't happen because there's competition. Because if that phone doesn't have what you want, there's hundreds and hundreds of other phones that have the features you want. In this case, it doesn't. And it's wrong. This is, <laughs> this is wrong. Um, again, I want to keep stating the fact that still... I'm teetering on the, it's got to be in it, you know, because it's a money maker for them. And to miss this kind of a game mode for them would be huge. Just losing all those boost slots. I mean, what is it, a buck or two bucks per one? That's, adds up <laughs> very quickly. Um, and it's just, it, and it's pure, it's pure profit at that point almost. So yeah, they, they, the development infrastructure and everything like that is usually, you know, some of the fees are taken out of by Xbox One or Xbox Live and PS Online, PSN Online, one of those. Um, so yeah, that's taken out from the game and a couple of things. But God, you know how much money they make from DLC and things like that. It, it's pretty huge. So um, this is scary. Playing it out scary. There's nothing else I can say about it. I think that. Uh, this is a very reliable source now because it's Costco one. I know it's horrible to say, but it's Costco instead of Best Buy. But the real thing is, it doesn't matter if it was Costco. If it just showed the front and said that in the specs, I'd say the same thing as I said for Best Buy. The real thing is that it showed the, the back cover art. And uh, it's not like a fake generation or something like that. It It looks like the official box art. I mean, from my perspective, seeing, you know, the original games, it's a, it's official. And then for even pushing the fact is that it shows the, the huge difference between the Xbox 360, the last gen, and the Xbox One PS4 version with that, that terminology on the back. And again, showing that box art. Um, that's just horrible. <laughs> it's horrible. And uh, this is when I'm going to end it. Because I'm sick as hell, and... Um, I don't even want to talk about that, so fuck it. I'm just doing it one shot, but I, I just don't want to talk about it. But I'm sick as hell, and, and now I hear this, and it's just like, holy shit, my day's going to get any worse, you know, from what I've been told already. Um, Don't buy this game if it's not it, and just, just listen to me on that. The community looks good so far, saying, you know, going out there and really pushing the issue, but the only way we get things done is if you don't buy it. And uh, it can look like the best turd in, in the fucking, in the bowl. But dude, if it doesn't have what you want, don't pick up the turd. I mean, you don't want a turd, but still. Um, it, it's just stupid. Just don't buy it. There's no reason to buy it. And uh, and spend your money on something else. Destiny looks good. There's plenty of other games. And I know it's not hockey. And maybe get FIFA, because I think FIFA has the actual clubs in it still, and I'm actually going to research that now, because um, I really, you know, a couple of my buddies just, we want to play, you know, games online like that, with actual less AI as possible, so uh, it's just, it's no matter. And and the people that on the forums that are um, backing EA going, even if it's not it, I'll still buy it. I mean, it's not even that, it, they, they, they're claiming, a lot of them are claiming, Oh, I don't even think it's in the top three or four game modes. You're fucking stupid. Anybody who says that is fucking stupid. Leave a comment. I'm going to fucking call you stupid. Every one of you. Because you're fucking stupid. Versus mode. I, if I go into versus mode, I can sometimes wait. Like, sometimes I have a wait of, you know, three, four minutes before I get into a game. You know, even longer than that sometimes. Hut is even worse. Hut I can wait for even longer, and then you got people just backing out three or four times it's it's really fun um <laughs> it's horrible um 
but OTP, you can go in the dressing room one at at least in the 360 version. I don't have that much experience on the PS3 version. Sorry. Next year I am. So if anybody's on PS4 and there is EASHL, hit me up because I'm looking for a club. I'm changing over. <laughs> Anyways, side effect. Uh, I, I I can't believe I might have to say if there's EASHL. Oh God, that's so bad of a word, like a sentence that I just makes me want to cringe. There, um, <laughs> fuck. It's, it's just so stupid. It's just stupid. There's just nothing else I can say other than it's stupid. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, man. To take something out there. But I, like I said, DR Dressing Room 1 is literally packed with people until 2, 3 in the morning. Every night. Fuck, even work nights, which I don't get. I'm like, do you guys even work? No? Okay, cool. Play some hockey, I guess. But, I mean, it's always like that. Weekends, I've been in there. I've been playing OTP till 6 in the morning. I, I mean, I'm not happy to actually say that, but it's happened on many occasions, and I never have to wait at all. The only time you wait is people going, I want center. I don't want to play D, and we have to wait for a goalie. That's just players, but people are popping in constantly. Versus, you're not going to see that. Uh, OT, the hut, you're probably not going to see that, or they're going to back out on you anyways. At least they do to me. So, don't give me that bullshit. Don't back up EA in this. Don't buy the game for any version. 360, PS3, Xbox One, PS4. It's fucking stupid. It's going to be just NHL 13 version 3.0. And, and that's just wrong. It's wrong. Don't give in to them. Please. Don't, don't let Rammer pull down your pants and fuck you in the ass. Alright? That's that's the I'm gonna put that in the title. Actually, the title's probably gonna be something like, "Pull up your big boy pants and just walk away," because it's over. If the ASHL is not in the next gen, don't buy this game because it's useless. It's completely useless. Play the old game. Play NHL 14 until the servers you know rot away, until they realize, oh man, maybe we screwed up, and maybe we we can't make up excuses for this shit. So again, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully I'm, uh, you know, like I said, I still think it's going to be in it, but this is damning, and again, EA Sports hasn't said a word on it, which makes it even worse. So, have fun, but uh, I just wanted to give you guys some more, more information on it, um, because I want you guys to make your own decisions, and then hopefully you didn't listen to this whole fucking rant. Holy shit, I ranted way too long. See you guys. Oh, wow.